Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, as you can see right there on my shirt. So I'm working on this Honda Pilot. This is a 2018 Honda Pilot. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to properly basically go about using Infinite Use Detail Juice, the original Infinite Use Detail Juice, this here, as a tire dressing. Um, it's not quite as easy as spraying it on, letting it go, or spraying it on a foam applicator and then putting it on. Um, there's a trick to getting it to work really amazing, and I'm gonna show you that trick right now. Okay, so I just got done cleaning this wheel and tire really well with Infinite Purpose Cleaner. That's the first step, get everything really clean. So this tire is nice and clean, doesn't have any browning on it, um, it doesn't have any residual gunk from whatever they used before, um, which is awesome. So we've got the concentrate of the original Infinite Use Detail Juice. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this uh, spray nozzle on spray, and we're going to spray it on the tire. Okay, you're going to put enough on to coat everything, but don't go back over it and put a ton more on than just... A solid application like that now for this to work properly a lot of the water because this product is water-based just like most of my products uh, the water has to evaporate leaving behind the polymers on the tire my buddy uh, Caleb Phipps did a video on the original infinite use detail juice and how you can use it on your whole vehicle uh, inside and out and only use one product and one thing he did was he sprayed the infinite use detail juice on a foam applicator like you see here and he applied it to the tire now that's awesome and in some cases you can get the infinite use detail juice in one coat to look great on tires but for me generally it takes two coats uh, to make it look absolutely amazing which is fine it still takes very little product to make it happen uh, about a half of an ounce uh, around the car of the concentrate but as you can see it looks really good on the tire we're gonna get a f give it a, a few minutes to for the water to evaporate out and leave behind the polymers then what we're gonna do is we're gonna smooth it out a little bit we're gonna hit it with another coat and do that same process two times all right we're gonna give it just a few minutes and we'll come right back when it starts to dry a little bit okay so this is the front tire that I have not done and I'm just doing this for comparison's sake so you can see before right here this wheel was cleaned with infinite purpose cleaner so was the tire I used a hard bristle brush to clean the, the tire and you can see it's nice and clean now this is with one coat of infinite use detail juice you can see that it looks noticeably darker a little bit glossier but what I like to do is I like to take a uh, foam applicator like so and I like to smooth it out a little bit before I apply that second coat so now here we go with the second coat we're just doing a light coat you're not gonna spray a ton of extra that's gonna fall down and not be worth having so now that we've got the second coat on it will be noticeably glossier that first coat was more of a priming coat so you got the polymers inside the rubber then they dried in there now we're putting another layer on top so you'll get that top surface fill now and make it look really good so we'll just give that a couple of minutes and we'll come back and i'll show you what it looks like after this tire has two coats of the original infinite use detail juice in concentrate on it Okay, it's been a couple of minutes. Again, for reference, in the same take, this is a clean tire with nothing on it. And this is with two light coats of Infinite Use Detail Juice. That's not quite 100% dry. All I do with that is I just come in here and I just give it just a little bit of a wipe just so that there's no pooling in the uh, letters and then I'll let that I'll let that ride so that's after two light coats of infinite use detail juice 
Uh, that still has just a little bit of drying left to do and then it's non-sling, it's not going anywhere. Uh, when it rains, it will rinse off clean so there's no nasty, snotty, oily, gross mess to clean off the tire before you reapply it next time. Looks awesome. Before, after, like I mentioned, just two light coats of the original Infinite Use Detail Juice. It looks awesome. I'm very happy with the way these tires look. And I know that that is the look that a lot of people like. They don't like what I consider the gangster shine, which would look like black chrome everywhere. Nobody wants that. Well, that's not true. Some people do want that, and that's why it's available, uh, because some people want it. But personally, I like a slightly darker than the tire should be with just a slight sheen. And this is a little bit more than that, but I think it looks great. So... That is the appropriate way to make Infinite Use Detail Juice work really well on tires. So clean with Infinite Purpose Cleaner and a hard bristle brush. Get it dry and then spray one coat on the tire. Let it dry. Spread it out. Hit it with another coat. Let it dry and you're good to go. Looking just like that. One more time before and after all right guys thank you so much for watching this video check out gary dean's detail juice nation it's a group on facebook where we talk about only my products my processes and what i've got going on we're talking a lot about the uh, original infinite lineup right now because i want to really push those products as being really relevant they're very very really good products and i think a lot of times we get caught up in the hoopla on the internet and with the, all of the technologies that evolve and you know that change every freaking day with uh, detailing products. It is awesome that we can go back to my original products from 12 years ago. Uh, Detailjuice.com was launched 10 years ago, a little over 10 years ago, but I started this company uh, 12 years ago and it's so awesome to know that I can go back to the original products that I started the company with and really get awesome work done. And that's a testament to how far we've come. Now, yes, I have better products. What is What makes a product better? Well, uh, newer, more current technology, does that make it better? No, I don't think so. Um, the reality is what makes a product better in my mind is the longer term better quality protection you can get from the product and the long term on it. Any product can give you great initial gratification, but it's these really awesome older products that I'm finding I'm going back to and really getting solid quality results that aren't that much different than the results I get with all the fancy products. So that just is a testament to how advanced we were 10, 12 years ago when I got started. And so if you need awesome products, check out detailjuice.com. And if you've got questions for me, I'm the owner. My cell phone number is 813-846-4406. Let me know if I can help. Thank you guys so much. Uh, and check that Infinite Use Detail Juice out. The original is awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.